Premier League referees to explain VAR decisions to fans from next season. Football's lawmakers have trialled a system which allows fans to hear VAR decisions over the past 12 months. Anthony Taylor uh, is amongst English officials who have been involved. Official confirmation expected in the coming weeks. Good. That'll do. It's a start. We're heading in the right direction. Now... Well, we're talking about VAR in a positive sense. Of course, I've got to throw in a little dig here at the PGMOL. Have you seen the officials for the game against Arsenal at the weekend, my friends? Anthony Taylor is the referee. I've got no issue with that. I think Anthony Taylor is a decent referee. But I do have issue again with who's on VAR. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not Paul Tierney. It's the next worst one after him. David Coop is on VAR. So we play Chelsea on Wednesday. Tierney's the ref. Then we go to London at the weekend, where, remember, we've been shafted a few times, and they stick David Coot on VAR. So, you can rule out a penalty, a red card in our favour, any decision that might be 50-50, all them going to knock out for us if it goes to VAR. That's my say on it, that's my feeling on it. I don't care what anybody else says, thinks, I don't care if people think I'm being bitter. Uh, it is what it is for me, and is we have to win things in spite of the officials, and not... With help from the officials. That's how I feel. And I feel like Howard Webb is taunting us again. I know. I know. I'm deluded. Tinfoil hat. All that stuff. I get it. But how is it always? There's one of the three. Always Atwell, Coo or Tierney. is somewhere in the set of officials when we have a big game. And it pisses me off massively. 